What's going on, guys? This morning, I've got some news for you from Intel, which will impact the future, if it has one, of Microsoft's Surface Neo. So first things first here. If you're not up to speed, a little while back, Microsoft announced this dual screen device called Surface Neo. And no, this is not just Surface Duo. This is a, a giant Surface Duo. It kind of is Surface Duo. It's a giant Surface Duo, two discrete screens. This thing ran Windows 10X, which as we all know is now uh, dead and defunct. Windows 11 is the way to go. But it was a really cool idea for a device. All the reasons why Surface Duo seemed pretty cool to some of us, well, Surface Neo was going to be that for the full desktop experience. You get a sense here of how big this thing was supposed to be in both of these pictures. But sadly, there's been a lot of problems here. So first off, like I said, Windows 10X is dead. It is now Windows 11. 10X is no longer going to be a thing. This thing has not come out. The Duo has been out for almost a full year now and still not a hint of Surface Neo. However, as I've shown in another video, just a while back in April 19th, they showed off Surface Neo in a promotional video, and I said that indicates that Surface Neo is not actually fully canceled. All that being said, what is the news as of this morning that pertains to Surface Neo? Well, I wish I could come to you and tell you that it's been re-announced, it's re-emerged, but in fact, it's actually news that could be taken as a negative. I actually don't think it's a negative, but it could be seen that way. We got this tweet from the Surface Guide. Intel has officially discontinued its Lakefield series of processors, the same chips found in Surface Neo. So if Neo does eventually ship, it will need to use a different processor, still open to replace with an ARM-based SoC. So let's talk about what Intel's Lakefield series is. Basically, this was the, the CPU, the system on a chip that Surface Neo was meant to be running. And what is Intel Lakefield? It was essentially a 10 nanometer processor from Intel, which was going to adopt a mobile style little big system. And what that means is instead of just having four, six, eight cores that are all effectively the same, they would have performance cores and power sipping cores. This is the same thing that's been in mobile phone technology in ARM devices for quite some time. Well, this was Intel trying to co-op that into the world of x86 and that's what neo is supposed to run the benefits here are that when you need to do something that is performance based something you need to be running very quickly at well those performance cores are going to kick in and they're going to do that job but if you're doing something that doesn't require a lot of power or you're running background processes or what have you the power sipping low power uh, efficiency cores maybe you could call them that's when they're going to kick in again this is what we already have in our smartphones and tablets on the ARM side of things. In fact, the Surface Pro X running an ARM-based SQ2 or SQ1, depending on your generation, that has this kind of stuff as well. And to go even further with this idea, Windows 11 now actually does fully support much better optimization for this little big style of processing, which is why devices like the Surface Pro X are performing much better on Windows 11 than they did on Windows 10. Well, why is Intel retiring this technology if it's something that we use in mobile and there seems to be a lot of promise in this idea that you can get performance and battery life at the same time? Well, it's not because it wasn't working. It's apparently because the tech has actually progressed so rapidly that they're just ready to move on to the next iteration of this technology. WCCF Tech here basically says exactly that, that it's being discontinued due to technological, technological advances in computing, making way for faster and more efficient CPUs to be readily available for consumers. Intel knows this is a really important segment. Tablets are here to stay. Mobile computing, thinner and thinner devices, battery life is very, very important to a lot of people. And finding that balance is really important. And this sort of hybrid design, as they call it, little big, whatever you want to call it, is very important. So what does this mean for Surface Neo? Well, there's a couple of options going forward. It's entirely possible that Microsoft will continue partnering with Intel and they will simply just use what's coming next. And that is Alder Lake, which should be coming in the next year or so for Surface Neo, should it ever see the light of day. That's entirely possible. They could just use a better version of what was already going to be in there, the Lakefield processors. But there's also another possibility here, which I find to be more intriguing and possibly more exciting. We got leaked specs 
on the 29th of April for a next-gen processor for the Surface Pro X. This would be essentially the SQ3, the, the third-gen Snapdragon processor. Well, technically, it's the HCX, and then Microsoft customizes it, and that's the SQ3, whatever. But looking at some of these benchmarks, the HCX Gen 3 earned a 982 and a 4918, whereas a SQ2 in the Surface Pro X only scored a 798 and a 3100. That is a massive jump in performance. So there is another option on the table here. We know that Microsoft is going to continue with the Surface Pro X, essentially give us a dual screen Surface Pro X, and that is Surface Neo. ARM processors are working far, far better on Windows 11. We're seeing more and more native apps ported over to ARM. ARM is important and it's, it honestly might be the future. So if Microsoft wants to truly push the envelope, let's jump from Intel over to Qualcomm, run the HCX or the SQ3, whatever you're going to end up calling at the end of the day, and do something truly exciting. So guys, I wish as always that I had something super definitive to bring you about Surface Neo instead of some serious, you know, hard news, but then some speculation on the other side. This does not mean Surface Neo is dead. It just means it will run a different processor when it comes out, and there are at least two really good options. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments down below. Would you rather see them stick with Intel, with Intel's hybrid tech, or just make the jump to ARM and go full, uh, you know, full crazy mode if you want to think about it that way. Let me know in the comments down below. As always, thanks for making it to the end of today's video because it does help me out a ton. Thank you as always to those of you who have chosen to donate to myself on this channel through scaryifliteral.com as well as my contributors over on Flatter. Stay tuned for more content just like this and until next time, stay nerdy my friends.